Good morning. I'm Quentin Pence with Davis County Fire Department, firefighter paramedic. We're here at uh, Horse Fort Creek Park this morning on the back side of the park. We're going to perform some dragging operation training. There's time to time law enforcement may call us out. We will use dragging operations to get, recover um, evidence or search for vehicles or something if they have those missing in bodies of water. We'll be involved in search and rescue operations, but once we've deemed that to a recovery, we'll switch over to a dragging operation. Um, you know, typically after everything's said and done, a person or item may wind up on the bottom, you know, of the lake. So we'll set up and cordon off and kind of grid search at the bottom of that lake uh, with our dragging equipment in hopes to, you know, snag uh, part of, you know, the person's clothing and be able to recover the victim. So we have you know, our, our drag equipment that we use, and then we use that along with our sonar equipment and our mapping equipment. Our uh, sonar devices on our boats have maps with, that have all our preloaded bodies of water in our area. And we use those and we can actually, it'll track where we have searched on that lake. So if we're trying to set up on a certain size grid and we can use that to search the entire body and it shows us exactly where we've covered as we work our way across that that body of water so set up out here in the the lake behind me uh, we have uh, sunk a it's actually a hose roll that we have simulated to be a body it has clothing on it and we're going to perform our dragging operations um, as we would in the event of a true emergency uh, just practicing getting the feel of how the dragging device is across and how it would feel when we come across something along with training with our sonar device as what we're looking for as it scans the bottom of that lake so we're going to do some exercises on that to help recover this. As we're dragging the bottom, you can feel the drag device just slowly easing across the bottom. We just idle back as slow as we can. And then you can actually feel that device grab and hook into something. And then we'll stop and slowly pull that up to us to maintain. We don't want to pull it too fast. So we don't want to tear the clothing and rip our hooks out. So we pull it up to us nice and controlled. And then we have some stuff on our boat if we can't grab it by hand. And we'll the crew on the boat to pull the pole to shore. Um, in the event you were to witness, you know, somebody drowning, falling off a boat, and you're unable to get to them, uh, make sure you try to stay exactly where you are, mark that location, don't leave, and then try to point us in that direction. Because if you stop and stay exactly where you are, that really pinpoints the area of us to search and really narrows down and gives us a more accurate place to start to search instead of having to start wide and find the end.